Basically, when you get pregnant, your cervix swells. So basically, you see that opening on the cerclage? Basically, when you get pregnant, your cervix swells and it tightens up, basically, if that makes sense. guys it's Brittany here and I'm back with another video um, I wanted to um, basically do this one based on you know a lot of questions that I've been getting about my um the difference between um, a pre-pregnancy cerclage and a um, in pregnancy cerclage so basically for those that have been following I've talked about it a lot of times I have a pre-pregnancy cerclage and basically um, what happened was back in July back in July of last year I got my cerclage put in I had the TVC IC cerclage and I had that put in um, back in July and then I got pregnant in September so basically I had my cerclage done before I got pregnant so I wouldn't have to worry about having the procedure done while I was pregnant now the other um surclage the in pregnancy basically when you get pregnant and you have an incompetent cervix aka cervical insufficiency they place the surclage before 12 weeks it has to be um, placed before 12 weeks um now if you do that um you have risk of infections because they're basically opening up um so you have the risk of infections and um I just didn't want to do that, especially sometimes when they do the cerclage. Um, now, don't get me wrong, it does work for some people. It does work. I, just in my opinion, I didn't want to do that. And then sometimes when they do the cerclage in pregnancy, they do the standard, the basic TVC cerclage. And sometimes the way my service is, that TVC, I know for a fact would not hold. It, it, it wouldn't it probably wouldn't have held because I had an early miscarriage at 16 weeks so my service basically gave out at 16 weeks based on some people's service gives out around 20 weeks so the fact that mine gave out so early I didn't want to trust that TVC I went for the TVC IC which is almost like a tack which is high up on the stomach so basically the difference between the tack and the TVC cerclage that I have is okay so basically imagine that you have to get your tonsils removed. You can get your tonsils removed from your throat, or you can get it removed from, you can get it removed from your neck, or you can get it removed from your throat. Now, the tack is the neck, and the TVC is the throat. They're basically almost the same. This is just invasive, and this is non-invasive. So I got the non-invasive cerclage, which is almost like a tack, which is like about 80 to 90 percent. Um, doable in a high-risk pregnancy so basically um that's the main difference of it i if you could if you had the insurance for it if you wanted to and you already know you're going to have another baby i would recommend the pre-pregnancy surclage um some pre-pregnancy surclages are removable some are permanent i have a permanent surclage so you really don't have any complications with the pre-pregnancy surclage it's just like the other one you have the spinal i didn't want the spinal y'all i was a punk so i asked for general anesthesia it didn't take long at all if you want to go back to the video i did do a video of that day uh, with me going before surgery and after surgery the recovery and stuff like that so basically um I, I didn't have any pain like I, I really didn't have I had a little bit of pain but that pain was basically when I urinated or whatever and I think that's the same with the regular I didn't have any pain at all I wasn't on any pain medicine or anything and like I said I had it in July I got pregnant in September a lot of people wonder well if I got a pre-pregnancy surclage how am I supposed to get pregnant you can have a period flow sperm can go in and sperm can come out basically <laughs> like it's the opening now basically let's say this is your cervix and this is the cerclage basically when you get pregnant your cervix swells so basically you see that opening on the cerclage basically when you get pregnant your cervix swells and it tightens up basically if though so, you can still stuff can still go in stuff can still come out basically so i mean i didn't want to chance it with the um with the end pregnancy but y'all it's almost like the same thing basically it's a higher risk with the um pre with the 
not the pre-pregnancy, the end pregnancy because you have risk of infections and stuff like that. And plus, when I'm pregnant, I don't want anyone operating on me, giving me spinal or anything like that with the baby. I know that's really high risk, so I just went ahead with the pre-pregnancy. And y'all, it held up. I had my baby, and hopefully it holds up again. Now, y'all, I, I really don't want to have, like, I don't... I, I didn't want to have two little ones, but I may have to, you know, try again sooner than later. I mean, I don't know right now. It's just something that's up in the air, like literally, because I want to go ahead and have this surclage removed. I, I always wanted a big family. I really always wanted a big family. And like, I, two kids is for quitters. <laughs> so, I mean, I always wanted to have like, I wanted to have three of my own and I always wanted to adopt, but I may just have two and adopt one. That's what I always wanted, a big family. Anywho. <laughs> um, but I really wanted to come and break down the um, in pregnancy and pre pregnancy surclage. Um, I think I was all over the place, but I hope that you understood basically. Just to sum it all up, the pre pregnancy is when you have the surclage placed before pregnancy, stuff can still go in, stuff can still come out. It wasn't hard for me to get pregnant at all. I got pregnant the second month of trying. So uh, in the first month, I really didn't try. So I got pregnant basically, I'll say the first month of really trying. So um, the end pregnancy is when you have to have the surclage place and it's a TVC. They don't do the, uh, you can't have the tack place too. So it's done in pregnancy um, before 12 weeks. You do have the risk of infections because you're basically being opened up and your womb is being, well not your womb, but your cervix is being opened up and you have the risk of infections traveling to your baby. So. That's that, y'all. I uh, wish y'all the best of luck if you're trying to decide what to get. Um, if you already had a baby and you had just a basic um, surclage, you plan on having another baby, um, look into a pre-pregnancy um, so you can avoid all the, you know, well, I have to schedule this before 12 weeks and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, that's that, y'all. I hope this video was helpful, and I will see y'all in the next video.